Hello everyone, welcome back to a Revival Tournament commentated set. This is Gold Mason, and this time I am joined by Extina. Hello, I am joining. We've got a really exciting match for you guys here today. We've got Callus Invitational 3 Champion Triangles versus Behe or Baihai. I really haven't been able to figure out which it is. I saw a video recently on him by BKC in which he didn't really seem to know either. So uh, we're going to go with Behe because that's fun to say. It's uh, Pihi here, I guess, is how uh, his alt has spelled it. Um, but this is going to be a good Very one. Very funny. Yeah. This is going to be good. Absolutely. These two are both. It uh... is the Evergrande Bigs versus the uh, Congregation of the Classiest. Ooh. Um, and we're just going to jump right into these games. Let's do it. Okay. Metagross lead. Serenitar lead. Is Tar going Always to Always wants to see that Serenitar. Yeah. I guess anticipating Tar may be switching out, but no. Tar stays in and quakes. I wonder what kind of Tar that set is... that is. That is kind of crazy. Yeah, that is. I guess like enough. And that's a Ludicolo. Whoa. Okay, special tar. Interesting. That's a Earthquake Ice Beam. That's pretty unorthodox. That's uh, not a set that I uh, think I've really seen too frequently. Okay, Celebi coming into Silk, either a Hydro Pump or a Leech Seed, covering both options fairly well. Uh, we'll have Might to be see. be a DD Ice Tar, by the way. I'm not sure. Oh, yeah. That actually would make sense. That's uh, where you see that kind combination of, a... of moves. <laughs> it's just a crazy stay in on the, on the Metagross, though. Yeah. Like, now get, we'll... get CB mashed and just mm -hmm. lose your Tyranitar. For real. Okay. And we've got a Sword Stance and not passing it. Um, and Triangle's not opting for a boom there to remove the passer from the game. Mash Ray is okay. It's getting a Mash Ray is, wow. Celebi's got to get out of there. It can't keep looping it. But what is it going to go to? What can take a hit from a Metagross? Magneton. All right. Taking that hit just fine. Let's see how the speed shakes out on these two. Faster than that. And as it is not a choice band Metagross, we would have been able to tell that from the damage on the Magneton had it been. Take that out. I guess figures there's not likely to be a Skarmory blocking the SD Pass team here. Ludicolo coming back in. Uh, especially not on a Ludicolo team. Yeah, for sure, for sure. You do see Ludicolo on some balance squads um, here and there, but this is looking decidedly more like an offense with the presence of a Metagross and a Salamence. So Celebi coming in. And Celebi is in fact faster than the Ludicolo here, so it doesn't have to be worried about getting sniped by an Ice Beam, really. Okay, getting Metagross in on the recover. What's Metagross going to click here? The triangles is going to be able to heal up Metagross here and just mm -hmm. start that um, mash raise loop again. Mm -hmm. Leech Seed does land this time, though. Uh, and explosion. Lands on top of an exploding computer. So no more SD passes here for Vihi. Ludicolo is in. Does this Aerodactyl have uh, hidden power? On SD pass teams, a lot of the time you'll see substitute. And that's what we're seeing right now. Um, Rain Dance, okay. But Aerodactyl is hiding safely behind its sub. Will it opt to continue throwing out uh, substitutes to stall out the rain turns? Nope. Just taking it out with either a hidden power bug or a hidden power flying. So no double edge on this guy, likely. Okay, we've got a Suicune in. And Tar is not gone, so Sand will come back. Mm-hmm. Are living the surf. It's a hefty surf. Yeah, definitely a, a bulkier tar. Let's see. Suicune is in fact faster. Tar goes down. We will never know if it was Dragon Dance Ice Beam. It would kind of make sense on a team like this, since SD Pass can sometimes struggle with uh, Flygon. So having something to shoot it down is always nice. Oh. There's also Lumberry more than likely. Mm -hmm. So Lum DD Ice Tar is is very cook. Yeah, that is that is absolutely. All right, so is Metagross going to boom here? There's a threat of a boom, certainly. We've got a trademark triangle's fart name, and it is gone. <laughs> Magna Farta is out of here. Here's Snorlax. Trying to scout the boom, and instead... Uh, mm -hmm. If there's one snipe thing... Snipe the Magneton. Yeah. Ooh, crit mash, that is big. Oh, on the curse oh, turn, no. too. That's rough. 
Yeah, if there's one thing that uh, Behe's known for in very recent memory, it is uh, holding on to his booms until the exact right moment. Throwing a meteor mash out there instead of an earthquake, trying to catch the ment switching in. All right. Is this the boom turn, or will the boom turn be if the Metagross is able to be preserved till Suicune? Nope, just punched it in the face. Chef Zach. Nice little Zach PZ name, I guess, there. Now, this play right here seems to be banking on Metagross missing the next match. Will it? It does not. Or being slow enough to be outsped, but... Yeah. Yeah. Looks... And now we're going to see Boom, and this game is this game is done. Yeah. Crazy. It was looking... Oh, no Boom. Huh. Interesting. It was definitely looking pretty good for triangles, um, mm -hmm. and still possibly is. I mean, if there isn't a, if there isn't a Boom here, then... Uh... I guess oh, he was... there it is. Yeah. I guess, so. Uh, yeah, we really weren't kidding about him just holding on to his boom, even uh, for style reasons. Maybe he just felt bad about the uh, the crit on the lax and wanted to give him another shot. Um, give him another round of maybe Aerodactyl flinches. Metagross, Metagross wasn't threatened, really, so I guess scouting for a possible protect hey, yeah, there you works go. there. That's solid. Yeah, protect. It could. is a pretty safe play. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, what's it going to do? Reveal, like, after having clicked Surf, like, Hydro Pump in the back and crit that? Like... And also, the last on Behe's team is almost certainly, like, a Snorlax or something to take advantage of the uh, Swords Dance pass while also being, like, a Zapdos check, which this team definitely needs. Mm -hmm. um, so, even if Triangles did end up having, like, a Protect or something like that, and saved it for the second move, then you would have the Snorlax and the Aerodactyl to beat down the uh, Suicune. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff. Uh, it definitely could have been a Lax. It could have been, like, a Swampert or something like that. Like, a lot of the time you'll see a, uh, a Water type on this team, though you do have a Rock Resist in the Metagross, so it's less uh, necessary for it to be something like that. But, yeah, there's a lot of the things that could be in that mystery slot there from our guy hanging out with his wolf friend there in the little corner of the screen. Yeah. But wow. I think that I think that crit on uh on Snorlax definitely mattered. Though. Oh yeah, absolutely. That was, like a, that was a very unfortunate timing for a crit. Yeah, that was like especially I'm assuming it was yeah. curse boom too. Mm -hmm. So it would have been able to take the Metagross out. For sure. Yeah, um, definitely that would have done it. Yeah. Like yeah, and at that point, like, um, it's really just a matter of, like, what the last is. If it was something, like, uh, a pert, maybe, like, then, even, like, if it's, like, a Milo or something, if it was a Rest Suicune, it could have definitely looped it and, you know, maybe dodged enough arrow nonsense to, to get through, but, you know, that's just the nature of the game when you run a uh, offense ditto, is one person's gonna out-offense the other, it just is what it is. Mm -hmm. And it, it's too bad because it, it did look like Triangles was, you know, commanding a very uh, convincing lead until that crit. And then um, also the mag being sacked to the Metagross uh, Earthquake Scout was pretty good from Behe, but also didn't feel as necessary from Triangles, I think. But Well, there's three sides to every triangle, so hopefully we'll get to see another side from our favorite uh, next week. Excited to see more absolutely. from both players. Yay, SPL! Absolutely. Woo! <laughs> we will see you next week for some more SPL 15 ADVOU content. Thank you for joining us. This was Gold Mason and Extina. Yay! Bye!